Welcome to the Notix push notification service. In this video, we will briefly explain how our platform works, give you an overview of its main sections, and highlight the most popular features. Sign up. Ready to join Notix? To do so, go to our sign up page and fill in all the required information. The confirmation email will drop to your inbox right away and your account will be ready for work. Login. If you already have an account with us, let's log in and check how to get started. Statistics page. Once you log in for the first time, you will also have an additional product tour around the platform in which we highlight the steps to get started. The statistics page is one where you land right after login. Here you can find all the data about collected push subscribers and notifications sent. My Sources The first step of your integration is adding your source. If you have a direct website, add its domain. The list of all the sources you ever added will be located here. Add Tag The creation of the tag, or script, is the main stage of integration. Add your tag, name it as you like, and proceed with settings. If your website is built on WordPress, you can select this option here also, and you will see the corresponding page for the setup. By the way, you can download our WordPress plugin from the official WordPress store. Link is in the description to this video. Page with the tag. This page is the most important since here you take your integration files, download the service worker right away. You will have to put it to your website root directory later. And let's check which settings are here. Here you can select the type of prompt, a window that appears when users are offered to subscribe to notifications. Categories, slider and bell prompts provide a two-click subscription. If you want to subscribe users in one click, just select the native prompt. Also, here you can manage the delay before showing the subscription window in seconds if needed. And also customize the prompt with your brand logo, custom text on both prompt title and its buttons. This will make your subscription window more appealing for the users and will match the design of your website better. We also give a possibility to set up a welcome message, a push, which would arrive to your user straight after he agrees to receive notifications from you. Once all settings for your tag are in place, copy it. After that, you will have to put this tag into the head of your website. It can also be done through Google Tag Manager. Statistics page again. Once you start collecting subscribers, you will see them here. No ticks statistics is updated every five minutes. Send message. So now, once you have integrated the tags and you already have some subscribers, it's time to engage them. Click on the Send Message button on the top of your screen and you'll get right to the page for the push notification setup. First of all, select your source. This is the one that you have added initially to your account and which accumulates your subscribers. You can select one source at a time. Now, you need to upload the materials for your future push title, description, images, and the target URL to which you will be directing your users when they click on your notification. You can also give the links to images for your future notifications instead of uploading files. Before sending the notification, you will always have a chance to check the preview, how your push looks on different platforms, here on the right. If you want to speed up this process, check out our Fast Push Creation feature. For example, this is how fast push creation would work if you decide to send your users an article from the Notix blog. Basically, this is it. You can already send your message to your audience. But let's go through additional settings as well, as you might find them relevant to your particular case. Below, you see the targeting options. If you want to send the message to all subscribers from your source, ignore it. But if you want to narrow down the audience of recipients, you can include or exclude particular countries, cities, platforms, operation systems, browsers, browser languages, and audiences. It is also possible to target users by the last time they have visited your site, 
and by the time the user last clicked on any of your notifications that you have sent earlier. Also, you can select particular recipients for your message, depending on when they have subscribed to your notifications, and send it only to the newest subscribers, for example, or oldest, as you wish. As well, here you can put the specific Time to Live TTL setting for your push and manage the schedule. If needed, you can also repeat your notifications as often as you require. If you're ready to send your push already, just click on the Send Message. If you want to edit it later, save it as a draft. In any case, your notification will be shown in the section Notifications, to which we go further. RSS If you have an RSS feed, Notix gives a possibility to automate sending of freshest news from your feed as a push. Go to section RSS, add the URL of your feed, and save the settings. Notix Engine will be checking if you have any fresh news, and as soon as there are, new materials will be sent as a push to your subscribers. Deeper targeting options are also available for this feature. Notifications. Here you will have a list of all your messages with their statuses. On this page, you can manage sending and settings of your notifications. Statistics. Analytics overview will also be displayed in the statistics section. Here you can see the number of delivered notifications, impressions, how many of those notifications were actually seen on users' devices, clicks, and CTR. Subscribers. Other sections of your profile include the list of subscribers. Here you can group them into different audiences. Audiences. Here you can review those audiences. Retargeting pixels. Retargeting pixels are an additional tool that will help you to build audiences. Select the criteria for your future pixels, locate them on your website, and users will be added to audiences accordingly. Later, you can include or exclude these audiences from your message targeting. API. If you want to automate the processes shown in this video, here you can set up the API. Integrations. And if you need more customized integrations than those reviewed in this video, check the integration section to know about other possibilities of Notix, WordPress plugin, Zapier, AMP, and many more. By the way, it's also possible to monetize your push subscribers and increase profits under the monetization plan. Monetization section of the dashboard will guide you through the process of monetization requests and further actions. More videos on this will be in the description. Insights. Insights page is a hub from which you can access all onboarding and blog materials, Notix Help Center and tutorials. Also, here you will find answers to the most frequently asked questions. Support chat and footer. If you need any help, our support team is always there to help you. Click on the orange chat icon and reach out to us. Links to the documentation for developers and the General Help Center with all the instructions can always be found here at the bottom of the page. Thank you and get the maximum out of your audiences.